Greeting fellow modelers. Based on conversations I've had with some members, I decided to do the quick build series of a legend presenting Supermarine Spitfire. Let's begin. Again, hit up Fiddler's Green Paper Model. You will never be disappointed. Great way to start. And here we have the Supermarine Spitfire. A lovely kit. A very old kit. Here we have the main wing. The stabilizer. The wing scoop or air intake. The canopy. And this is for the fuselage, which in itself is a whole build series. Four fuselage, spinner, main landing gear, and tail wheel. So this is the instructions given. It's a beautiful basic model. So without further ado, let's get into building this kit. So the tools needed, you already know the drill. We need our X-Acto knife or any other knife that's sharp enough, tacky glue, office glue, glue stick, our school glue, my super glue, and of course, toothpick. This is a kick decorating tool and my favorite, tweezers. Can never have enough. Of course, my trusty steel rule and another tweezer. Why not? Now, when it comes to my building technique, the first thing I do is cut all the parts out so I can focus on them individually. You don't have to do this. This is just my way of dealing with things. So we just cut all our parts out, the air scoop, get rid of what we don't need, and then we put aside everything. So here now is where I try to do something very different by starting with the spinner and the prop. So we're going to do things a little bit different. So please follow quickly. First thing I do is laminate the prop, laminate the nose disc, which means basically doubling the thickness of all these items. Set aside and then we deal with the spinner. This I don't laminate, okay? Now, basically this is how you would form it, but no, nah, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is put several slices in it as shown here. I just cut that little edge off. There we go. And then we're going to join. Now those cuts you see I made in the top, this is where now my cake decorating tool comes in to try bend it a bit. I then put smear it a little bit of tacky glue at the top and this we help form a curve. Then I glue the prop to the disc and then I can mount it. Now this looks like it's ultra quick. It took me about probably 15 minutes. So please don't look at the video and think it takes that quick, okay? It took a little while. And this is how I secure it. And then we're tackling the main wheel and the tail wheel. Now I did things a bit different by taking care of the more complicated smaller parts first before I get to the easier larger parts. So here you see I cut out the main landing gear and then I took a toothpick. I split that landing gear in half. I also split the toothpick very small so I can put it between the landing gear. And this is how we have a sturdy enough landing gear. And because the kit is not perfect, we cut off wherever the excess is and we shape it. This we will paint later. The same basic step applied to the tail wheel. Again, get yourself some good tweezers. Go to any beauty salon, go to a pharmacy, you find tweezers all over the place. Whatever you do, do not take your wife tweezer. You may end up in hospital. In here, repeat the same thing for the main landing gear and pretty much we're good to go. 
we just do a little shaping, cleaning up and voila. Now onto the canopy. So this is where that basic cake tool comes into play. The cake decorative tool. That's with the ball tip at the end. So once I cut the canopy out, okay, I'm going to then put it in the base of my palm of my hand and rub that ball tip tool. Then I use the reverse side of my knife blade to score along where the window windshield screen would be and then we glue the sides like as shown and then that curve that I've put in with the decorative tool will add some slight curve to it not enough but it makes a bit of a difference as you'll see later you can firm it up by putting a bit of super glue inside it will work now for the air scoop assembly we use the back of the knife blade again and we use our ruler to shape as shown. Here I did not cut anything out of the video so you see a very quick rundown of what I've done. Because this will take some level of folding. And then we cut the excess off and then we start folding. Apply glue to the air scoop intake area. Secure the front and then put along the joints, quick glue. Secure the back and pretty much that's it. That is it. This we'll put to the underside of the wing. So my friends, as much as I love doing Fiddler's Green Kit, there is so many other kits you can find me building and reviewing from Halinski kits to Mark Model Kit to several other kit makers. So please pay a visit and if you like what you see, give a like, a thumbs up or consider even sponsoring the show. I'd really appreciate it. Well, let's get back to the show. So this is where things get a little tricky. After we have cut out our fuselage, the first thing we're going to do is use the back end of the blade again to just score the fold areas on the rudder. And then we use our brush handle to put a curve in the base. And then the top part now, we fold over a whole lot. If you look at the cross section of a Spitfire, you realize it's more almost like an egg in terms of its profile shape. If you look at an egg, the top part curved, the bottom part shallow curve. The tail section here, I just use a straight edge because we know that is going to be upright. The wing fairing, this is where we curve outwards using our brush handle. You'll be amazed at how smooth just using a simple brush handle is. Then we glue the tab and we slowly join in place, making sure all the parts are aligned. Look for where you see the rivet mark and the window mark. Now for the tail section, we're going to just split that open gently. We're going to break a small toothpick and we're going to put it on the inside. This will secure with super glue on the inside so it doesn't run and it stays firm and then the edge now we'll put our quick drying glue put it on a flat surface and press away and there my friends you have a proper shaped tail section we use our brush handle again to fold down the forward fuselage part repeat the gluing process and get yourself a good tweezer. A great tweezer, funny enough, is also your fingers. And here we curve, pay attention to how I do the lower half. You curve it in sections using your brush handle. Repeat 
to the other side and then we use our tacky glue to join and look at the joint panels make sure they are aligned folding those joint tabs because that's where the wing will be attached to and onto this now we'll put our canopy that we did earlier and secure in place you may not see it right here but that little curb that we put in there from the cake baking tool making our canopy it will be a little more apparent and now we're cutting out the leading fuselage front just before we attach our spinner make sure the parts are aligned now remember it's not perfect so it will probably overfit but that should not be a problem okay remember it's a fun scale we then attach our spinner to the front and bam now you have a spitfire that's coming to life now let's tackle the main wing and let us see if we can do the same as we did with the fuselage so after cutting off the excess parts that we do not want look where i am dividing the wing it's along that line so pay attention and make sure that's what you do we use the back of the knife to fold the join tabs we then put a small curve and the upper wing panel we divide it with our steel rule we join and this is where things now become slightly tricky so pay attention to the video if anything I know I'm going to put a strengthener in terms of cartridge stock card stock they put a teen so that we can make sure strength the leading edge okay so that's what I'm doing here I put strips there so that we maintain the dihedral or the bend in the wing we then glue the leading edge first together we don't flatten it although that's what it looked like I did and then we coat the trailing edge we repeat the same to the other side this is after we trim the model up we coat the other side we do the same thing the base of the wing however I do not trim we leave that just for later now we're going to put the whole thing together generous amount of tacky glue on the wing fairing root fairing on on the tabs on the fuselage now that center line we align it with our fuselage and now we join the wing now here's where we pay attention to the trailing edge of that wing fairing and make sure they're aligned when you see excess like that then we can trim it off not before we join the wing to the fuselage and then we of course do our little trimming to make sure that everything fits and aligned a straight edge to make sure we have a straight enough wing and BAM we have a Spitfire well minus the tail section so the parts we had earlier made the intake the landing gear the tail wheel we now at this point will apply them to the model a quick applied glue and put in position bore little holes for the main landing gear be gentle with it and then we insert and then we secure in place with our super glue any super glue it doesn't have to be this particular brand i use you could find any cheap knockoff super glue works just as well with paper you don't have to be an expensive set and then we put in our tail wheel make sure it's aligned and then super glue in position and BAM we will paint those landing gears later and now the final part the stabilizer simply cut the parts out and then we're going to make sure everything is level we're going to put a toothpick in the trailing edge we put that bore in the fuselage 
we put the toothpick in so that way we make sure that our stabilizer is always level it adds a bit to the model we cut all the panels out we fold what needs to be folded and then we glue the upper panel and lower panel together we are gluing only the edge of the model and press everything out on a flat surface trim off whatever excess there is apply glue and we put in place and there you have it just a simple for the other side and we have ourselves a spitfire so what's next let's finish up this baby you will be amazed at what a simple painting will do for your model any watercolor you have any basic paint set you have just mix and carefully paint away and it will be fun and remember you can always experiment with the color but look at this basic quote-unquote model look how it's popping because of simple paint work well this is it thank you so much for following i hope you enjoyed what you see build yourself a spitfire it's really awesome and i want to thank all my patreon sponsor for helping me bring this model to you welcome aboard sim taubin i really appreciate you joining the club so my friends take care walk good be gentle to yourself and one love <laughs>